Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we've got one of those videos um, that's the reason why you watch this channel. Because we have an Iowa class battleship to film on and some locations that you will never see anywhere else. Today we're going to be talking about the rollers that the 16 inch turrets sit on that allow them to revolve. We are in between uh, the rotating structure of turret number two and the ship's armored barbette here. We are investigating the rollers because there are a lot of comments out there, uh, including this article that's linked in the description below, that say that the rollers on New Jersey were welded in place, and that's one of the reasons why she was turned into a museum ship instead of, say, Iowa. Well, We've only investigated these rollers right here on turret number two, but these are still completely greased up. I've got the grease fittings here. The, the rails that they sit on top and bottom are completely greased up. Um, and there is no indication of any weld marks on these particular rollers. Uh, like I said before, we are wedged in between the barbette, which is part of the ship, and the actual turret structure. We uh, entered this space through the upper shell deck. There are some access ports in there. We went out one and there were some handholds and then this little six inch wide shelf uh, that was designed that the sailor could stand on so that they can take their grease gun and access these grease fittings. And wedged into the back of the turret, you've got plenty of safety as you're moving around. The top part of this has a rubber cover on it that's heavily covered in grease. I have no idea why. The rollers themselves um, and the rail that they sit on appear to be uh, brass or bronze. They're smooth metals that don't spark. Uh, there is possibly steel, uh, th this big structure that holds all the rollers that is riveted together and also includes uh, some bars that go between here to keep it rigid, uh, but these are holding the entire weight of the turret here, about 2,200 tons, the weight of a World War II destroyer. And between these and the planetary ring that we'll show you later in the video, it allows the turret to rotate. So this is why I don't wear a suit and tie to work. Here is the access scuttle we just climbed through here on the upper shell deck. And so if you see this structure above me and the planetary ring there, this is what is keeping the turret from falling out of the ship. Uh, it's bolted in with some real big bolts. If you need to remove the turret, you can unbolt this and pull it out with a huge crane, assuming you've partially disassembled it. Um, I doubt that's got the strength to hold the turret in if the ship were to flip upside down and sink wasn't designed to. The ship flips upside down. There's, there's rarely any coming back from that. It is there so that if the ship or the turret takes a big shock, it's not going to cause it to jump off of its rollers and jam in train. So this ship is not like Bismarck, which uh, famously does not have the turrets attached in any way. Our turrets are attached right here. And you can see those gears up there under it, the planetary ring. That is what the mechanisms up above in the power deck are biting into to turn the turret. So here we are uh, about center line at the uh, aft end of the shell deck. And this structure right here is what prevents the turret from rotating around into the superstructure or firing into the superstructure. And that is designed to impact on another structure up there if the turret turns too far. And then this will collapse inward somewhat and uh, absorb the shock of the turret stopping. Now this big gray casting here is what that stop impacts to keep it from rotating. So the turret can turn, feels like a, a fair distance before it reaches this. And that's so that the turret two 
can do what's called the over the shoulder shoot and shoot aft of the ship slightly. Obviously the superstructure gets in the way, so it can't go all the way. And this is what stops it from slamming those 120 ton gun barrels into the bridge. Thanks for watching. If you like super detailed videos like this, remember to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when we put out new content. We do release new videos like this one uh, several times a week. If you're interested in this subject and you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. If you uh, are interested in the subject and you would like to read more, check the description below. We've got some links to some 16-inch uh, gun manuals and also that government document that I mentioned before that says that the uh, turret is rolled in place. What we inspected, what we were able to easily see here on turret 2, does not appear to be welded in place. Doesn't mean that one of the other turrets or somewhere else on turret 2 isn't, but we've yet to find proof of it. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State. And also from viewers like you. If you would like to support our channel and our museum and allow us to keep doing fun stuff like this, there's a link in the description below where you can donate, uh, and that gives us the ability to run around the ship.